Hi beautiful people, in this video I'll be sharing with you how to make this very simple body butter that will transform your kid's skin. I'll also be sharing useful tips for taking care of your kid's skin. Since this body butter is going to be used on kids, the ingredients have to be gentle and mild because kids have sensitive skins. So first we are using ojoba oil which is one of the mildest carrier oils. I have my mixing bowl here. This is what I'll be using to make the body butter. I'll be mixing all the ingredients in this bowl. So first off, I'm going to add the ojoba oil into the mixing bowl and then we'll move on to the next ingredient. This is a body butter, so of course we need butters and I'll be using two different butters for this recipe. First, I'm using shea butter. Shea butter is extremely moisturizing. Shea butter is relatively affordable and it is easily accessible and that's why I am using it. Shea butter can also help with inflammation and redness of the skin. Now I'll add the shea butter into the ojoba oil and I'll leave the full recipe with all the measurements somewhere at the end of this video so make sure you watch till the end. The second butter I will be using for this recipe is mango butter. Mango butter is a softer butter compared to shea butter, so I wanted to give some richness and softness to this body butter. If you don't want to use this or you don't have access to this, you can use just shea butter. Just increase the amount of shea butter you add. Next, I'll also add the mango butter into the shea butter and ojoba oil. You can also make use of other butters like avocado butter, carrot butter, and the likes. The next ingredient is optional. This is cetyl alcohol. I like to use it for two major reasons. First, it will keep your body butter from melting and it will also prevent your body butter from getting too hard after a while. So your body butter is going to maintain that creamy consistency. If you do not have access to this or you don't want to use this, you can skip it. So I'm going to add the cetyl alcohol into the butters and oils as well. So this is what we have now, the butters, the oils and the cetyl alcohol combined together. Now it's time to melt so that we can dissolve this. I'm going to be using the double boiling method to dissolve everything. Now I'm going to drop my mixing bowl in my boiling water and then I will stir gradually to ensure that everything dissolves completely. This might take a while but you have to be patient and wait till everything is completely dissolved. There should be no chunk of shea butter or cetyl alcohol again. As you can see it's already dissolving gradually. I'll keep stirring until it is completely dissolved like this. Now I'm going to take it off the heat. As you can see everything is completely dissolved. We can go on with making our body butter. The next step is to stick this in the refrigerator for it to solidify. I'll leave it just for about 15 minutes and it shouldn't be too hard by then. This is what it looks like after about 15 minutes. It has hardened up but not too hard. I have my hand mixer here and I'm going to use this to whip the body butter now. I'm going to whip gently and gently on low speed and as I whip you would notice that the body butter will turn creamy as i whip but this is not the final consistency as you can see it still looks a bit runny but don't worry after it turns creamy like this we're going to add some more ingredients into the body butter next i'm going to be adding in carrot oil carrot oil is a gentle and mild oil it will help give the skin this beautiful glow you can also choose to use any other carrier oil that you think you love so I'm going to be adding the carrot oil into the body butter mix as well. I'll also be adding in another oil and this is black seed oil. Black seed oil has a lot of benefits for the skin, especially for kids. Black seed oil is mild. It can help with inflammation, bacteria. It can help with a lot of things like eczema also. So I'm going to add the black seed oil into the body butter as well after adding this i'm going to mix until everything is well combined you can choose to replace these oils with any other oils of your choice it's totally up to you 
after mixing this i'm going to stick it in the refrigerator again but this time you're going to leave it for longer so that it will become very very solid i left the body butter in the refrigerator for about one hour and as you can see it is completely solid and now we can whip so i'm going to whip gently also on low speed i'll whip gently till we have that fluffy buttery consistency After whipping for a while, this is what we have. As you can see, we now have a solid body butter consistency and this is beautiful. Now we're going to add our last set of ingredients. First, I'm adding in my vitamin E oil, which is my antioxidant. And next, I'm adding in lavender essential oil. Please, if you want to substitute this, make sure you choose a very mild essential oil because this body butter is for kids. Now I'm giving it another whip to combine the vitamin E oil and the essential oil all together. As you can see, this body butter is very, very mild because it is for kids. You don't want to use anything too much. Now I'm going to put the body butter in my jar to save it for use. Even though this body butter is mild and it's a body butter for kids, adults can use this with no problem. It is excellent. Here's the full recipe with all the measurements as promised. You can take a screenshot and refer back to it when you need to replicate yours. Or you can come back to this video whenever you want to make yours. Before I end this video, I'd like to say a few things you should bear in mind when making products for kids or when dealing with kids skin you need to know that kids have really sensitive skin. Their skin is thinner compared to adults kids have really really fragile and sometimes sensitive skin you cannot use harsh products on kids do not use any brightening whitening lightening or toning skincare products on kids it is not safe for kids kids have really sensitive and fragile skin so do not use those kind of products on kids it can destroy their skin Whatever product you are making for your kids, whether you are making it yourself or getting, they must be mild, really, really mild products when dealing with kids. Also, do not use any products that contains harsh chemicals on kids. It is really dangerous for them as well. If you found this video helpful and you learned a thing or two from this video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you drop a comment and ask your questions. Also make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on more amazing content like this. Bye and see you in my next video.